So we're about 45 minutes into our interview with Kyle Rittenhouse, and the picture that emerges is of a working class kid who sincerely believes in America. His community falls apart, and he tries his best to do the right thing at a time when almost nobody else in the community is trying to do the right thing, but he does. And in return for that, the state, under political pressure, throws him in prison. Then the people who swear they will help him take advantage of him. It's a lot. So what does he plan to do now, now that he's been acquitted? Well, here's that part of the interview. What do you think your life's gonna be like after this? I'm hoping I can live a quiet, stress-free life um, and not and be free of any intimidation or, or harassment and just go on with my life as a normal 18-year-old kid attending college. So you're gonna go to college? I am in college. I'm a student at Arizona State University. What, I mean, are you going to go to campus and... I, I think I am. I, I want to. Um, it's a lot of things we have to look into, so I don't know for sure yet. But I, I do intend on going in campus and pursuing a career in nursing. I, I may change it. I've been looking into law. I may want to become a lawyer. I haven't completely decided yet. But I've been looking. I, I want to be a nurse, so I've been doing the prerequisites for that. Interesting. Do you think you can have that, that you can live peacefully in this country unmolested? I hope so, but I can't read the future. Um, I'm hoping that people go back in, understand the facts, and be like, watch the trial, watch the pr prosecutorial misconduct that I believe happened, and realize that I was an innocent 17-year-old who was violently attacked and defended myself. Because you wanted to clean graffiti and protect a car lot. And apparently, um, a lot of people on the left, it's criminal to want to protect your community. Do you feel like your life's been destroyed by this? I feel my life has been extremely defamed by it. I don't think I would be able to go out and get a job and not have to deal with harassment. But I'm at a place now to where I, can't, I have to have um, people with me because people want to kill me just because I defended myself and they're they're too ignorant to look at the facts of what happened. Do you, do you feel the threats? I, I do. I, I see some of the threats. Some of the things people say, it's absolutely sickening. Has, do, are you confident that the government will protect you from these threats? Because that's of course the government's job. I hope so, but we all know how the FBI works. Yeah. I mean, looking back, it's been, you know, a year and a half, less than even. This is not the life that you planned, no. obviously. It is far from the life I planned. This is, this is something that I wish never would have happened, but it did, and we can't change that. But how it's been so, how it, polarized how polarized it became is absolutely sickening yeah. like right or left people using me for a cause that should never have been used as a cause i read that you're not going to stay in the midwest i'm not i'm going to find somewhere to live before this i actually wanted to move to naples florida and yep. then this happened but i don't know where i'm going to go um, i'm going to go lay low and live live my life and enjoy it how, why are you so calm? I'm a naturally calm person. I don't find, I find it to be a problem when people are overreacting because things are out of our control. So I try not to deal with that. Huh. I mean, just for the... Believe me, on the inside, I'm freaking out. Well, you must be. I mean, for the record, we're, you know, you just got acquitted. Yeah. I mean, like two days ago. So yeah. that was the first thing I noticed, that you seem very calm. You don't seem like someone who's just been through, a, you know, had his mind blown. Yeah, and the inside I'm freaking out, but the best thing you can do, you freak out, everybody else freaks out. It's like a chain reaction. Yes. So the best thing I can do is stay calm. Do you feel like you've been watched over? I believe God's been on my side through the beginning. Hard to imagine you could have watched the whole trial and then watch those 48 minutes and come away thinking Kyle Rittenhouse is a monster, just the opposite, actually. As we said, this is a boy who sincerely believed in the promises of America. Do the right thing, 
be honest, worked hard to turn himself into the police. Their response, they pepper sprayed him. He had to drive across state lines speaking enough to turn himself in to the police. It's an amazing story and it's a deeply sad story for what it says, not about him, but about the rest of us. We've got reactions tonight to the interview we just did from Judge Jeanine Peer. We've also got behind the scenes footage that we shot, our producer shot for our documentary series, Behind the Scenes at the Rittenhouse Trial. That's all next. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.